We all start out in slow motion, naive to the conditions we will encounter, naive to the abilities we will need to guide our practices, our profession, and our lives. We make wrong turns, go too fast, reach dead ends, and often sit idling, waiting for something to turn green. Sometimes we just want someone to show us the way without having to use up so much vital time. I'm Dr. Lisa Knowles. 15 years ago, when I graduated from dental school, I envisioned my challenges. I thought about all the practice management skills I would need to acquire, and the materials I would need to understand, procedures I would have to learn about, and yes, those things have been challenging, but the most challenging part for me was learning how to communicate and interact with others who are not like me. The dental profession, along with many other professions and organizations, is going through a huge transition right now. We have women and minorities, historically not ever at the table in large numbers, now at the table and filled with opinions, expectations, expertise, and even some skepticism. I understand why there is skepticism, and I understand how to move beyond it. It starts with communication and a willingness to listen to differing opinions. It requires a give and take mentality to find balance with the people we work with, the people in our communities, and the people in our profession. And it takes a good communicator to bring all sides together. When I entered dental school and saw that many of my classmates had biology, chemistry, and physics majors, I second-guessed my decision to be a communication major in a science-based world. I never should have. My broad-based understanding of communication has served me very well in writing press releases and blog posts, in solving interpersonal communication conflicts with disgruntled patients and staff members, and investigating issues like a journalist to find the truth in dental research and advertising, which isn't always so easy to find. I started Intentional Dental Consulting because I realized I have a unique skill set to offer to those people who want to lead a more balanced life, who want to understand how to better get along with others, and who want to enjoy their work days without so much stress and conflict. Much of this centers around our ability to communicate effectively to others. Our profession requires extraordinary communication skills. And who better to teach this skill set than someone who studies communication and is a dentist? There are not too many of us out there, and certainly no one more passionate about ensuring the long-term success of our profession and ensuring the highest and most honest treatment of our patients. I know how to recognize trouble ahead, often before it even happens. I enjoy working with all dental professionals, as a guide through this complex road course we're on. It's satisfying to see the lights come on with my clients and audience members. I know that it's really sinking in for them. When we are grounded in our purpose, love what we do, and know how to make the wheels turn, the pathway itself seems to unfold. This all starts with a very intentional plan. With a good plan, we act cohesively. It takes someone with an aware mind to gently point out the issues to those who do not see the problems. It takes a humble mind to acknowledge the problems. And it takes an intentional mind to actually change the problems. So here are my questions. Have you considered the needs of others around the dental table? And do you know how to communicate to them? What is your plan? What course are you on? Where do you want to go? And most importantly, if you do not have all the answers, as I did not have, who are you going to trust to help you along the way?